Today we're going to look at how to add and subtract fractions. First, we're going to find out how to add fractions with like denominators. Let's look at this fraction problem. Two-sixths plus one-sixth. Because the denominators are the same, all we do is add the numerator. 2 plus 1 to give us 3, and we keep our denominator, so our answer will be 3 sixths. Since we know how to reduce, and we've trained our eye to look at fractions to see if they can be reduced, we can tell that this fraction can be reduced because there are factors that go into both 3 and 6. In this case, the greatest common factor is going to be 3. So, we divide 3 by both sides to get a final answer of 1 half. Let's look at our next problem. We've got one-third plus four-sevenths. Here, we can see that the denominator is not the same. So the first thing we have to do is get a common denominator. We do that by using the LCM method. In this case, the LCM in seven is 21. Once we have that number, we make it the denominator for both fractions. Now, we take the 21, divide it by the 3 to get 7. We take that 7, multiply it by 1, and we've got 7 as our numerator. Here, we take the 21, divide it by 7 to give us 3. We take that 3, multiply it by the 4, to get 12. Now all we do is we add the 7 and the 12, which gives us 19. And our final answer would be 19 21sts. For our final example, we have a subtraction problem. 5 eighths minus 2 eighths. Since our denominators are the same, all we do is subtract the numerators. 5 minus 2 is 3. This cannot be reduced, so our final answer is 3 eighths. Now it's time to practice what you learned. See if you can do this problem. Three-fifths plus two-sixths. If your answer is 14 fifteenths, you are correct.